Hi there, I'm Holly Mecker with the Instructional Tech team here at ECS. I'm excited to talk to you today about Google Meet. We're going to go over how you will start a Google Meet, different options you have within Google Meet, and then how to make sure we end our Google Meet so the students can't rejoin without us. If you are on a computer, there are two main ways that you can get to Google Meet. The first option is when I've opened up Chrome, I have my waffle here in the corner. If I select my waffle, if I scroll down, Google Meet is one of my options. I can just choose this button and it will navigate me straight to Google Meet. The other option is to simply to go to meet.google.com and it'll take me to that same screen. If you're on an iPad, you simply have a Google Meet app that you can use right on the home screen of your iPad. When we start a Meet, we want to make sure we're using a code or a nickname. So in this box is where you're going to go ahead and type in a code. I recommend you use something that's easy for students to remember, but also not too common that other students might accidentally join your Meet. For example, I used my name and then a few numbers. And then you simply push join and that will start your Google Meet. Now when you're on this screen, your Meet has started. So if a student were to type in your code, they would join your Meet without you. So you notice right now, my Meet says no one else is here. But if I were to join here on my iPad as a student, you'll notice that student is now in the Meet, but I am not. That's because once you're in this screen, your Meet is open and live. From here, we can do a few different things. We can turn on and off our camera, we can change our background, and we can join this call. Let's go ahead and join. Okay, so here we are inside of Google Meet. Um, you'll notice that if I push the people, and it shows everyone, there are two people in here, there's me, and this other Holly Mecker is my fake student. Um, from here, on the People tab, I can mute all of my students at one time. You cannot unmute them, but you can mute them. And you also have some host controls. We can turn off allowing students to share their screen. We can turn off the chat messages. I recommend usually keeping those on unless there's some sort of a problem in your class at the time, and maybe you just need to take a chat break. Um, you could toggle that off and on as needed. That's under the People button. Um, you also, next to the People button, you have your chat. Remember, if you are recording your Meet, all of your chat will be recorded. You have your Activities button where you can push Record to record your Meet. You simply will tap that button, select Start Recording. It'll prompt you to make sure you let everyone know, hey, this is going to be recorded, just so you're aware, and you can push Start. Once it is recording, You'll get this record button up in the corner, it'll turn red, and now you know you're recording. You can always stop that recording, again, by going to Activities and Stop Recording, and then push Stop Recording again. Um, you can also access that in the More menu here um, with Record Meeting. That recording will automatically get saved to your Google Drive, and you'll receive an email with that Meet. Um, it does expire within 30 days, so if you, it's a Meet that you want to save and keep for longer than 30 days, you'll need to download that video and then re-upload it into Google Drive so that it stays um, active. You can also access the whiteboard here under Activities. This opens a Jamboard for you and your students, so you can access that under Activities as well. Along the bottom, there's some features. This is where we turn off our microphone. Um, it's good practice to show students how we turn off our mic when we're not talking, and then how to turn off and on your camera here as well. There's a closed caption option. This turns it on for you, not for all of your students. So it's a, this is a good thing to show students, hey, if you need closed captions, so you're hearing what, you can read what I'm saying, they're going to turn that on here. Um, Mine are turned on in English, and you can always tap that language and select what language you might need. There's the raised hand option, so students can raise their hands. Um, you'll be alerted um, in a few different ways. The main way that I like to find is under people. It shows raised hand. So maybe you ask your whole class, hey, raise your hand if you're ready to move on, and you can see how many hands you have raised. You can also lower them all at one time, or you can lower just one at a time. So you can lower those hands. This is our share screen button, present now. So if I tap present now, there's a few options. The entire screen is going to show everything on my screen. My taskbar is at the top, my taskbar is at the bottom. It's gonna show every window. If you choose just a window, you'll receive a pop-up and you can choose what windows you have open. I currently only have one window open to choose. 
And then last, my favorite option is a tab. You can choose which tab you want to, would want to share with uh, your class. And then you can always have the option of switching which tab is being shared. So that's some good options there under present now. This kebab here, the more menu, um, gives you a few different options. This is where you can change your layout. Um, I always like to have it set to tiled. And then at the bottom, you can also change how many you see at one time. So if you have it set to 16, but you have more than 16 people in your meet, you're not gonna be able to see them all. So you can scroll it up, it gets as big as 49. So that's an option for you too, to change that layout under the kebab menu. Um, there's also where you can enter into full screen. You can do your captions from there as well and also change your background. The last thing we need to talk about is ending a meet. So if I were to end my meet, I'm gonna go ahead and push that hang up button. I'm gonna leave the call and then you'll have a pop-up. It's gonna ask you if you wanna just leave the call or end the call. Just leaving the call leaves this meet open and available for people to use. Ending the call means this nickname is no longer usable until the next time you start that meet. So we want to end the call. I'm gonna go ahead and push end the call. This also removes anyone from the meet who was already or still in the meet. All right, and that's it for Google Meet. So I hope you found this helpful. Uh, please be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook at Elkhart Instructional Tech. Uh, thanks for joining us and have a great day.